It's probably the last thing audiences noticed in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Actress Tippi Hedren's nails. Who would have thought the screen legend's lustrous manicures would help inspire a $6 billion nail industry with a legion of Vietnamese like Tuan Lee? She gave me so much hope. In 1975, after the fall of Saigon, Lee and her family fled Vietnam and appeared in this local paper after ending up at a California refugee village with nothing. Hedren, involved in the refugee crisis at the time, became a mentor to Lee and 19 other women with poor English skills but who wanted to work. One thing caught their eye. One day we looked at her nail, we said, Tippi, your nail looks so beautiful. They loved my fingernails. So I thought, I'm going to bring my manicurist. She came up once a week and gave them a lesson. They would all practice on each other. They'd practice on me. An idea was hatched. Hedron convinced a beauty school to train them for free. Lee and the others got licensed and started doing business. Some of those families opened their own salons, building their American dream one coat at a time. When other Vietnamese would enter the country, they learned about this manicuring business. And it's become huge. Today, 40% of manicurists in the U.S. are Vietnamese Americans. In California, it's 80%. Tam Nguyen runs Advanced Beauty College geared toward Vietnamese students. Today, we tribute a lot to the actress Tippi Hedren. In fact, she's been called the godmother of the Vietnamese American nails industry. Everything she did back in 1975 created and paved the path for what I do now. Nguyen is following in the footsteps of his parents who fled Vietnam in 1975. Three years later, they opened their own salon and then launched beauty schools. His parents' inspiration? Their high school friend, Tuan Lee, the manicurist who received a helping hand from a Hollywood star. She gave us love, courage. She showed us the future. Uh, she made us feel like we can make it. Kareen Winter, CNN, Los Angeles.